Well, it's been a while since we've done a New Life Scientific Tech Shop walkthrough, and I know all of you have just been dying for the next one to come out. So here it is. And we're starting with Steve Free today, who's got a few uh, YSI 2700 selects that he's dis, you know, disassembled and maniacally reassembled and shot with electricity. And mm -hmm. It lives! What do you got? Well, these are the, as you said, the Yellow Springs um, uh, 2700 Select Biochemistry Analyzer. A classic. A classic. These are from 97, 95. We've done, we've, we've moved several of them through here without a problem. They, everybody seems to like them. I don't think they've changed much. I mean, they don't sell them anymore, but over the years, I think they were just... Yeah, they haven't changed much, but occasionally we get them and they're kind of crusty. Yeah, crusty, that's the word. Um, and this is one of the things that we do is take them apart, look for problems, see if, we, if they're a fixable problem. They're not. We dump them for, as a parts unit. Fairly well. Uh, fairly well um, uh, onto them. This one, uh, this one actually pumps water just fine, no problem. And that's really all they are is a water pumper with a probe, right? I mean. Uh, they do m seem to me measure electrical resistance across the, the fluid. And yeah. that tells them something. What you want to know. What kind of, what what they, you're, what you're looking for certain analytes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Biochemical um, components. Finish them up, they'll be available here shortly. At your friendly neighborhood, here in Life Sciences Equipment Center. At our Cartersville, Ohio location. <laughs> that's right. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks, Steve. We're off to Bart, because I, oh no, Rob's here. Rob, what did you decide you're going to show and tell us today? Uh, I got this VIP5 pretty much all set here. Uh, I can show you the our finished product and uh, the bones and pieces of what we have left from the two units we kind of combined to uh, make this one look and function as well as it does. That sounds good. No, you, it's going to be like kind of not fair because this one's already like spoken for basically. So true. we're just yeah. tempting you. Everybody wants yeah. a VIP5. It had a real strong odor to it and um, it wasn't accepting the bottles so you can't run programs or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we took a lot of time. Um, pretty much stripped it all the way down. Toothbrush. And put it all back together. Yeah. And uh, I got her working and functioning uh, pretty well. Sometimes cleaning is the magic with a tissue processor. Like yep. Converted. Yeah, well, that, we're going to get to that. They put an internal electrical conversion in this thing, right? Yeah. Did you step it yep. up to 220 or down to 110? Down to 110. So okay. this is a 220 unit that Hidden has been converted. In this corner. Um, it's got an internal conversion. We can we can show you if really? you like. Can you actually pull it out? Yeah, I can pull that off real quick for you. This is this is you know customized. Yeah. If uh, custom. If you'd like to see what Bart's up to, I can have these panels off and, and ready for you. Oh, so this is like a uh, a cliffhanger in in a tech shop walkthrough. Okay, let's go. Ooh, this one's cool. Where's the scale? Isn't there normally a scale on the top? Did they change the location in this model? Yeah. Ah. So this is a vapor. Uh, hydrogen peroxide decontamination system. This is the current model, right? No, it's step before current, actually. Okay, so it's I one think. one generation before the current Steris model. But boy, the controls on this are way better than the controls of other systems. If they'd stop changing their system so much, maybe it would be current, but... So the difference between this and the current model is probably like nothing, practically. There was something notable, but I don't remember. You didn't note it? I think they switched away from Alan Bradley. Oh. I don't know. So what's cool about this? What can you tell us? Why is there a scale on the inside? <clears throat> Good question, right? To measure the hydrogen peroxide. Really? Yeah. It measures the dosage of hydrogen peroxide coming through the system? Yeah. How frequently is it measuring? Can we look? Just when it's, when it has to pump the hydrogen peroxide in. So it pumps it into this, and then it evaporates this. No, it pumps out of that as well. Pumps into that, but pumps out of that. Pumps well. in and pumps out. So it can. This is the most it can weigh at a time. It pulls it in there and weighs it, and makes sure it's dosing it right. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Inside of a VHP system, there's a scale. It's Mettler. That's cool. That's a good unit. It's not one of the older ones because some of them had janky looking controls. I'll tell you that. Yeah. And really bad keypads. Really bad keypads. So. The worst of both worlds. All right, well, we'll see you later. Hopefully Rob's got his panels on.
So, what we've done is built this little platform to put your factory transformer on, and then added this transformer here on top, and uh, even put a little substation type electrical box in to uh, make sure all the connections are clean and... Um, no shorts happen. No, yeah, short free. This was so somebody could run this on 110 wall outlet instead of 220. Yeah. Correct. Why did you put this on a platform? So the wires going to this weren't long enough to set all the way down. Ah. And we were originally trying to you know, turn that this top transformer on its side or do something like that. And we had the idea if we put this transformer down there, um, it gave it a little cleaner look and still allowed space for um, repair if it ever needed it. It looks great. So, I mean, I really think it looks great. That's mm -hmm. a good, that's a good solution. So there you go, custom step down to 110 conversion that looks factory right here at New Life Scientific. So we originally got uh, that stand-up unit in. Uh, like you had said, it had a pungent odor to it and uh, some dented up panels. Uh, so to put our best foot forward, we bought a parts unit, which is this right here, that we then stripped down and took every available good or better part than that was on the other one and uh, put it all on that. So it got all the really nice panels from this. You know, we took the front door, the oven door, this front fascia, this top, the top stainless steel. Uh, we took the doors off of this. We took a whole bunch of stuff um, just because it was a lot better condition. So all that's it. really left of this that's useful is the door, the screen, and the rotary valve. Yep, for the most part. I mean, we still have panels and whatnot. Uh, and we still have the bottle manifold in here. Uh, but, so there's parts, but... Yeah, there's there's definitely parts. But we just want to put our best foot forward and produce the best product we could. VIP5s so, are yep. coveted tissue processors. They're not oh, yeah. 6s, but they're also they're not, not E300s. Which, I guess, people don't like them as much, you know? Cool. Well, this has been the end of the other part of our tech shop review. So. Thanks for watching if you did. Uh, unfortunately, you won't see the VIP5 on our website, but you can always check for the YSI 2700Ds and that Steris VHP system. Thanks for watching.